remembering pain is part of the riddle. Somewhere between my heart and the dark, I parked in the middle. I knew my part was little. I knew my heart was official. I knew that in my heart at that point. <sighs> Hello, everybody, and welcome to the Horrible Beer Blog. My name is John. My name is Jordan. And we drink a lot of beer. We're going to be reviewing beer, telling you what we like about it. Uh, we will be reviewing beers that we don't really care for, but that'll be on another video. It won't be on this one. So, kind of just going for it. Let's talk about the goods. That's what this is about. Talk about some bads as well. <laughs> as well. All right, so today we're reviewing uh, Ruben's Brewery uh, Hop Idols. You want to talk to them a little bit about it? So, once again, part of the new trend. It's completely uh, hazy New England style IPA. Uh, the cool thing about this one, however, is uh, Rubens Brews, the name of the brewing company, based in Seattle. Uh, they hold an annual homebrew competition. Um, and this was something I was totally unaware of. But uh, they had 116 contestants, and out of those contestants, uh, between 20 judges, they all judged this beer here as the gold medal winning homebrew. So this is actually somebody's homebrew beer, essentially, that they decided to uh, can. And probably been my favorite hazy IPA, honestly, yeah. like yeah. recently. So. And of course, you got everyone talking about three way this, three way that. Three way is a great beer. Don't get me wrong, but honestly, I prefer this over it. I mean, yeah. take a look at it. Hop Idol. Really, really good. It's like you're drinking a glass of orange juice. It's delicious. Yeah, yeah it's super, super tropical. Very tropical. Yeah. Low IBUs. Um, no. Doesn't actually say on the can, but you could tell if you drank a lot of these beers. I mean, 6.5% alcohol. Uh, honestly, I haven't had one beer from Rubens that I didn't like. I think Ruben just, in general, like Ruben's beers are great. Like, yeah. Yeah, and not a lot of people knew who they were until, honestly, last year's three way with yeah. Fort George, yeah. Rubens, and, uh, oh man, I can't think of who the other person was, but, uh, uh, yeah, they, they kind of just popped up on the map after that, and ever since then, they've just been putting out really good beer. So, yeah, it's like you said, this is the next craze in beers. Um, who knows what we're gonna be into five years from now? I mean, I've never heard of a hazy IPA 10 years ago, I've been drinking beer for quite a while. Yeah, I was mostly sticking to IPAs. I mean, people are used to those super bitter, hop forward IPAs, West Coast style. Yep, super um, aggressive. Yep, just. Drinking a pine cone. Um, there's nothing wrong with those beers. Um, I still enjoy some of them, <clears throat> but some of them get a little ridiculous when you're going over like 100 IBUs and you're like at 11, 12 percent alcohol. It just tends to get a little too boozy. Yeah, yeah, and you know, especially on a nice day, you know, you want to have a couple beers. Yeah. Um, and it's a lot harder to have a couple beers when they're sitting at you know eight, nine, ten percent. When you should be taking shots of them instead of crushing them, you know. Yeah, yeah. Um, so that's kind of why we've definitely uh, switched gears, and, and I think a lot of people have, to this new style. Um, I mean, just super smooth, easy to yeah. drink, easy to just down, um, and six and a half percent. Still respectable, you know? Yeah. It's not like you're drinking a three percent beer. I mean, 6.5, I mean, most IPAs hover around seven to eight yep. for good IPAs. But, um, you know, 6.5 is respectable. Um, so it looks like Alex Kuiper is the person that created this homebrew. Well done, dude, because this shit is fucking delicious. Yeah. I really enjoy this beer. These are actually the last two that we were able to grab. So, haha, we got them, you didn't. Yeah. Um, super good. Um, I hope Alex collaborates with them more, because this is really, really good beer, man. Yeah, and I'm sure they had to tweak a couple things just to get it, you know, to a level to distribute. Um, but I mean, just the flavor and, and the aroma alone, honestly, first time I opened this and poured it, to me, I got like a weird, like, almost like a juicy fruit. Yeah. Like the juicy fruit yeah. gum. It's kind of got that sweetness to it. I got passion fruit right on the nose, like oh. right away. It was just big, you know? No. It's big on that taste. Yeah. Like, right when you taste it, like, I taste a lot of just tropics. You know? Yeah. It's great, man. Yeah. Refreshing. So. It's a good one. It's yeah. been my favorite, I think, recently. And unfortunately, I don't know if it's available anymore. Yeah. You know, super limited, uh, small batch kind of release they did with this. So whether or not we'll see it again, not sure, but it's really good. Yeah. yeah. So once again, this is Ruben's Brews. This is Hop Idol. 
If you see this, definitely pick it up. If you love hazies and you like the New England style IPAs, this will definitely not let you down. Um, yeah. So we're going to take an intermission, finish our beers, and fuck around a little bit. And then um, after that, we'll be reviewing Modern Times Booming Rollers. Modern Times. So enjoy. Catch you in the next one. Wow. I love head, but not on my fucking beers. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, fucked it all up. God Woo. damn it. <sighs> Can of beans. All right. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Welcome back to our beer blog. Um, like I said before, we're going to do Modern Times Booming Rollers. Booming Pretty Rollers. fucking good. Um, hoppy Citra IPA, um, as it says, a lot of Citra hops, super fucking good. IBUs clock in around 70, um, what was it, 6.8% yeah. alcohol, I think? Yep. Uh, Modern Times is from San Diego, um, really good brewery, I haven't had anything I didn't care for, just like with Rubens, I mean, they make good beer. Um, I just wish more of it was available up here in Oregon. Um, they opened a tap room here and that's great, but a lot of the canned stuff is still down at SoCal. Can't really get it out here, so. Yeah, I mean, eventually, thankfully, because of their opening, we yeah. should get more of that stuff in time. But uh, this beer here is actually a pretty good one. Um, I guess you can kind of still consider it uh, unfiltered or hazy style. Obviously, kinda. there's drastic difference in, in color compared to the first beer. Um, this one's a little bit more of a, like a straw like hay gold color to it uh whereas the rubens was obviously more like orange juice yeah it kind of has like a hay kind of taste to it too like right on the finish yeah it's like you drank this beer when you're in your dad's like barn yeah yeah it's like if you actually took a hop and like chewed on it or something yeah. it's yeah. very very uh grassy almost yeah it's um, good. and i think a lot of that comes from one of the hops which is the uh, motueka which i believe um is like a New Zealand hop. Yes. So with New Zealand hops, you're gonna get a lot more of that kind of grassy characteristic uh, with the beer. But it plays really well, considering there's a citra in there as well. So it's just very bright, crisp, um, clean. Yeah. So yeah. I wanna say there is a little bit of Centennial hop in there, maybe. Um, centennial hops, a uh, touch of balance and citrus for it. So yeah. Yeah, I mean, stuff's pretty fucking good. Um, the Fraxis that they put out was phenomenal and one of my top beers. I love that beer. Um, hopefully, like I said, we can get some more of this limited stuff up here. It's been slim pickings. We usually get it and then it's gone like right away. So, but cheers, Modern Times. You guys are great. Yeah. No, they're really beer appreciate what you do. Killing it. I mean, luckily they, they do all styles too, which is the cool thing. Yeah. You know, it's not just IPAs. They've got... Sour beers, dark beers, um, you know, barrel aged beers, uh, wheat beers. Yeah. I mean, they do everything, and they do everything really well too. Yeah. So I'll be perfectly honest. I fucking hate sours. I don't like sour beers. I don't like goes. I don't like any of that shit. Yeah. But I've tried what Modern Times has done, and it's pretty fucking good. Like, I mean, I stick to my guns. I stick to IPAs, hazy IPAs, uh, stouts in the winter, of course. But like. I fucking hate sours but modern times makes really good fucking beer and i don't mind drinking that shit yeah so yeah no it's uh on top of the beer being good i mean if you just look at the can it's got such a simplistic design too yeah. which sometimes is kind of nice and inviting uh sometimes when you do too much with a with a logo or a design even that alone can like push people away from yeah, you wanting to grab the beer off the shelf yeah, i mean you put too much sauce on the steak it's gonna taste like shit yeah so I don't but I, I love the simplicity about it. I love it back how it like defines what the beer is. Like it gives you a good explanation of it, which is great. Yeah. Um like I said, Modern Times is awesome. Um probably gonna visit the tap house that they have here in Portland pretty soon. Um maybe shoot a video out there. Yeah. Who knows? Yeah. It's a really cool place. And for those of you who care enough just to wanna know, um they are a vegan based brewing company. Yeah. Employee owned um, as well. Employee owned, um, I mean, everything they do is really awesome. A lot of people are going to think, oh, vegan beer, like hipster beer, you know, what, what is what is vegan beer? But yeah. 
surprisingly enough, there's a lot of brewing companies that will actually use animal byproduct yeah. during the brewing process, whether that's some sort of animal fat or, or uh, collagen. collagen or something to, to manipulate the beer. Um, luckily, with modern times, I think that's also why their beer is so good. Yeah. It's exactly what it is. It's, you know, hops, water, uh, you know, whatever yeast. It's very pure for a style of beer. Yeah, there's so. there's none of the garbage that you don't need to put in there because you don't need to put collagen. You don't need to put animal fats in a beer no. to make it good. Um, they just went for it and produced a really good product. Um, yeah. Yeah, it's tasty. The biggest difference between this one, I think, and the first beer, other than the kind of grassy, mm. hay flavor, yeah. it's, I mean, you can definitely get more of the malt. Absolutely. Too, coming through. I agree. I mean, this one, you could chew a little more, I feel. Yeah. If that makes any sense to you. Yeah. It's just another layer of complexity with this, um, whereas the Rubens, good, but it was very, you know, very linear with the flavor. Yeah, it, Light. Was, it was direct and it was consistent. It didn't yeah. really change, you yeah. know? And this, like, you kind of take a drink and you can get different profiles each time you take a drink. Yeah. Like, you can get everything. Yeah. Rubens was just straightforward in your face. That's what they have. Yeah. And that's what I think I liked about it the most, too, was, yeah. was phenomenal. Like, it was just, this is what you get. This is our beer. And that's what they did. I, I agree, yeah. Both really good beers um, in their own style, too. Yeah. So, yeah. So, if I had to rate these beers um, for Rubens Hazy, um, I'm straight up going to give that a five. Uh, one to five is what we're going to be rating things on. I mean, honestly, that's one of the best beers I've had in a very long time. So, yeah. I'm giving it a five. What do you give it? I'll give it a five solely based on the fact that it is actually, you know, a home brewer. Home beer. exactly. Yeah. Um, that's really cool of them to do. You don't see a lot of the the beer community interacting with each other from professional to home brewer and kind of having that crossover. Yeah. So that alone on top of it being obviously a good beer yeah. gives it a five for me. So yeah. yeah. And uh, for the Modern Times Booming Rollers, uh, scale one to five, I'm gonna give it a four. Yeah. It's solid, it's great. There's yeah. nothing wrong with this beer, but did it wow me? No. Um, Fraxis, that fucking wowed me. That was a great fucking beer. Yeah. And some of their limited stuff that they do is amazing. And as we can get our hands on it, we will review it. But um, yeah, I think a four is a solid rating for these guys. And I think it's a great beer. So this isn't to yeah. bash you or anything like that. No. But if you no. want a five, send me a free case of Fraxis. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I would probably say, uh, you know, getting a perfect score is... is should be impossible. Uh, yeah. The driving factor for the first one, giving a five, was obviously the cool factor behind yeah. the beer alongside it being good. This, I would probably give it a four as well. Um, it's exactly what it says it is. Um, yeah. You don't even have to drink this. You can read the description, and it really does hit a nail on the head with the description, the way it tastes. Yeah. So really good, really clean, really bright, well balanced. Um, but you know, not can't hate it. Yeah, can't hate it. So, yeah. especially like for Oregon, it's like seventy, which is like a hundred yeah. compared to California. Yeah. So it's been a hot day, and like this is just a perfect beer to have on a hot day too. Yeah. Like it's not too much. No. The malt and hops are balanced perfect. Yep. It's just a really fucking good beer. Once again, modern times. Thank you for making delicious shit. Mm. Thank you for making delicious beer. We appreciate everything you do. Um, stay tuned for the next episode. Um, we'll don't know what we're reviewing yet, but as soon as we get it, we will let you know. So, do you have any suggestions? Absolutely. On things we should try, review, yeah. give our opinion on. Let us know. If you want to send us a beer, we would be more than happy to drink it. Yeah. Um, our reviews will be honest. So if you think your beer kind of sucks a little, probably shouldn't send it because I'm not the nicest of people. Just saying. <laughs> I'm I'm kind of nice. <laughs> He'll be the good cop, I'll be the bad cop. Yeah. Um, yeah. But anyways, thank you guys for tuning in to the Horrible Beer Blog. Um, this episode is over. Like I said, look for them probably in about every two weeks, give or take, we'll do them. Say about that, yeah. So thanks for tuning in. We appreciate your time, and send us some of your beer if you want it on here. Yep. Cheers. Cheers. <clears throat> Fucking potato.